So last example that we have here. So in in previous example we calculated the uh, we calculated d. In previous example we calculated d. Now we are going to calculate h by using the equation that we have for z. Okay. So let's see how we use this equation. A packed tower uses organic amine A packed column uses organic amine So I'm just gonna plot everything here for you A packed column uses organic amine So this is your amine And then you have your gas phase okay uh, okay the entering gas contain 1.2 1.26 mole fraction of CO2 so at the, at the bottom of the column so let me call this area here I call it zero I call this one this is I just name it this is zero stage zero this is stage one so I have my y zero here this which is the CO2 1.26 percent or 1.126 all right then uh, and it, it it the gas that contains CO2 is a gas, natural gas, let's say, or exhaust gas with CO2, it will arrive with this amount of CO2, this is the constant, the mole fraction of CO2, and it will leave at the top with this much CO2. At the top, it will leave with 0 .0, 0 0.04, percent or the mole fraction is going to be 0 0.004 okay the amine enters pure so the amine that is arriving let's say x1 at the top is pure is zero and if the amine left in equilibrium with the entering gas so amine here it will leave So amine will leave here, but once it leaves, it will be in equilibrium with this gas. So in equilibrium means there is an equilibrium relation between y0 and, and x0. Okay, y0 and x0. So then uh, it would contain okay the they will leave it in columnar with the entering aiming gas it would contain this much this much uh, this much uh, co2 when it is leaving okay when it is leaving which is in equilibrium with this y here it has 0.8 percent of CO2 or 0. Point, if I want to write it 0. 0.008 okay this is the amount of CO2 leaving the column so this X is also in equilibrium with Y so the gas flow rate this is my gas flow rate here G and here I have L my liquid flow rate the gas flow rate is 2.3 gram mole per second the liquid flow rate L is 4.8 gram mole per second all right so the tower diameter the diameter is given 40 centimeter this is your diameter 
The overall mass transfer is also given. Overall mass transfer is also given. 5 times 10 power. How tall should this tower be? You need to find Z in this column. So how we find it, we have to use the Z equation that we have. But before we doing so, we need to find mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, okay, this is not x0 that we want. Okay, this is okay, this is okay, it's saying that if if the amine that leaves the column and it becomes if it becomes in equilibrium with the gas, the x the amount of CO2 will be this much. If the amine that is leaving the column reach to the equilibrium. It, it will have this much CO2. If it reaches to equilibrium, it will have this CO2. But, this much CO2. But, in general, in reality, it doesn't reach to equilibrium. So, if it reaches to equilibrium, I just put a star for equilibrium. But, in reality, it has a certain amount of CO2. Because, in reality, they are not in equilibrium. It doesn't reach to equilibrium. Because, my column is not perfect column. It never reaches to Equilibrium. So in reality, we have this much x0. In equilibrium, we will have this much. So to use the z equation, I need to have all this parameter x1, y1, y0, and x0. How can I find x0? I have x0 a star in equilibrium. If it reaches to equilibrium, it has this much. But in reality, that is now I have to calculate this parameter. How can I find it? I can write the ban a balance on the whole column. Okay, how can I write the balance? So I can I can say that whatever CO2 that is going from gas phase, it will be received by the liquid phase. So how much difference we will have in CO2 from from bottom to the top? How much change will be in the CO2 from bottom to the top will be going to the liquid from top to the bottom. So by considering this, I can write the balance for CO2. That the balance will be this equation here. Okay, so that's my balance. So I have Y0 here and Y1. This is my gas phase. And this is my liquid that I have x1 and x0. This is my liquid phase. So whatever whatever change I have in the gas, which is here we have I have more CO2 here, I have less. So the difference times the gas flow rate that gives you the amount of CO2. So this is a the, the column cross-sectional area, which is not the important parameter you can just eliminate it so the difference in the co2 in the gas which is the difference in the mole fraction times the uh, gas flow rate is equal to difference of the uh, the change in the mole fraction of co2 in the liquid phase times the, the liquid flow rate okay so we have all these parameters we have g which is 2.3 uh, y0 at the beginning, at the entrance is 1.26 mol uh, percent. At the bottom is 0.04 percent. So this is the change in the gas phase. For the liquid phase, at the top I know is pure. At the top is pure is zero. I have the mass flow rate of the gas, but I don't know what will be the amount at the end. As I said, if it reached the equilibrium, I don't know what is the value. But in reality, in the real operation, I will have to find it by using such a balance that only parameter in this balance, which is missing, which is x0. So we'll, that will be 0 0.00585. So this is about 
x0 next parameter that I need to find is m because I need this m in the z equation that you will see in the next slide so as I said if this x reach to equilibrium with this y i don't know what is the its value is already given in the pre, I, in the previous slide i have given to you so if it reach to equilibrium the value will be this much which is a little bit uh, which is uh, which is a little bit bigger than that one we have here that kind that make makes sense kind of so in if it reach to equilibrium with this, it will have this much x, which is makes sense. Why makes sense? This value in which we have equilibrium is bigger than this value. Equilibrium means more efficiency. When we have really a perfect column, it can reach to equilibrium, so it will absorb more, more CO2. That's why it has more CO2. That's why this small fraction is bigger than this one here. So now... So I have this relation between y0 and this x in equilibrium, which I use the equilibrium line. Then I have y0 already given to me, x in equilibrium given to me. The only missing parameter here is m, the Henry constant or equilibrium constant. I, I need this m to, to put in this equation to find z. So now I have almost everything that I need. Now I will go to... Uh, to z equation in the next slide that's my z equation here so this uh, okay one one important note this equation was kind of written in the wrong way in your uh, notes that you have so i have updated this presentation is updated one available on the d12 so if you are using the hard copy just correct g in your slide to g prime this should be g prime okay so g prime which is g divided by a okay so uh, so now we need to use this equation k is given okay k is uh, actually k a is given to you k a all these two parameters is given to you as five times uh, uh, 5 times uh, 10 power minus 5 these two together given to you as a mass flow volumetric mass flow um, uh, volumetric uh, mass co uh, mass transfer coefficient and we just find we just found it g we found we know it l we know it y0 x0 y1 x1 are all known so you just need to put this equation here so g prime is g that we know divided by a area cross-sectional area the diameter of column is given d so we can find area which is p over 4 d power 2 so p over 4 d power 2 that will be your area that is your g here this is your area g over area give you g prime this is your mass transfer coefficient times a all together m we just found it g we have it l we have it we have all this information that we need here we just plug them if you do so you will find the height of the column 2.3.2 meter this is how you will calculate the height of column here 